Here's a shocking reality. If you're not moving in the direction of what you say that you want, there is a good chance that you are self-sabotaging somewhere in there. Most of what we fail at has little to do with resources, time, money, skills, or even intelligence. You see, as humans, we have this beautiful ability to not let ourselves win. You know, sometimes we'll get started in a project and we'll quit halfway or we won't even start. Whatever form it takes, whether it's unhealthy habits or limited thought patterns, self-sabotaging always reduces the passion and energy we need to make our dreams come true. Self-sabotage is the outward manifestation via action or inaction of our inner feelings of guilt and resentment and unworthiness. And the bottom line is, is that we can't create love, fulfillment, and prosperity if we feel that we are not worthy of love, health, or prosperity. You may be in a great relationship and you start a fight and create drama. Or you may be in a crappy relationship and you sulk and you give up and you distract yourself and you binge eat or substance abuse. Or you have this great business idea to begin living your purpose. And you convince yourself that you're not smart enough, you're not good enough. Or you'll find any other excuse that actually proves that your thoughts are actually true and it keeps you small. To make the progress towards what you really want, it's essential to identify how your inner saboteur operates in your daily life. So select an area right now that where you may think that you're self-sabotaging yourself. Maybe you've started something and you haven't finished it or you haven't started yet. Maybe it's your health, maybe it's in your finances or maybe it's in your relationships and ask yourself, what do I get out of not growing in this area? You know, we're always getting something out of doing nothing. Driven by negative beliefs about yourself, you may find that you don't want to excel in that particular area. Maybe you're afraid of success. So subsequently, you get the right to be right, even though it means robbing yourself of the fulfillment and happiness as long as you feel right. It sort of proves that state. However, today could be that boundary to actually stop that behavior. And how do we stop self-sabotage in its tracks? Well, on Saturday, October the 24th, I will be hosting a workshop. And in this workshop, we'll be uncovering the unconscious beliefs that have kept you small and playing safe and start a process of creating new belief system that supports your unlimited potential. We will discover where you set limits on your growth and your expansion and create new upper limits so that you are in full alignment with the life that you want. And you'll receive necessary guidance that will help you in your self-confidence, activate your inner creator, and manifest the people, the places, and circumstances that will align with your higher self. And of course, we'll all always have practical tools and actionable tips so that you can transform your self-saboteur into self-care and self-acceptance and lasting happiness. You see, obviously, by identifying our inner saboteur, where and how it operates in our life and ditching some old patterns is how we move towards living a life of limitless freedom and enjoy all the beautiful experiences that life has to offer. So if you do make little progress towards your goals and objectives only to relapse again or go into your destructive patterns or you're confused on how frequently you get off track and wonder why, this is a great opportunity. This workshop will dive deep into those areas. This is not just an informational workshop. This is an actual workshop where we will dig into those uncomfortable areas, understand the belief systems that you had and how keeping yourself small when you were younger is manifesting in your life now and how you can creatively be able to, to manifest the life that you're looking for even with small changes in your life right away. So I'm hoping that you can join me on Saturday, October the 24th. I will post a link somewhere in here, either the description or the comments below. And I hope to see you there. And again, I appreciate your time as always.